Hello, this is Mercedes from prettywebs.com and today I want to show you how to get a rose gold text effect using PowerPoint and Word. We'll be doing two different variations, but there are tons of possibilities uh, for how to do this. Uh, the only rule that you need to follow is to make sure that you have highlights and shadows uh, in order to get any metallic effect. Um, it, it doesn't have to be just rose gold. It could be regular gold or any um, other color. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've opened up a PowerPoint file and we're what we're gonna do right now is actually insert a palette that I made specifically for this. Okay, so I've got this palette and this is the palette that we're gonna be using. These are all uh, rose gold highlights, shadows, um, but these don't always have to be shadows. This can this can be a shadow and this can be a highlight or this can be a shadow and this can be a highlight. So it just depends on the colors that you're using. Uh, don't get too crazy with the contrast. You don't want to go here and then there because you do want it to look realistic. But any of these colors will work well together as long as you don't go too far with the contrast. Everything should um, look beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just shrink this down. When we're done using this, we're just going to delete it anyway. Uh, but right now it's just here as a color palette. I'm going to type in the word rose gold, of course, because we're making a rose gold effect. I'm going to highlight that. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. I'm pasting it here at the bottom because I want to do two different variations of this um, this first this bottom one we're going to do ladle thin i love the way that this this style this gradient looks with uh, a thinner font so uh, i just think it looks more elegant and a little bit more realistic in in my opinion and then for this one we're going to be using a font called theodoria and i'm going to actually bring that up as well to a 72 just so that you can see it a little bit better I might zoom in here as well bring this up uh, I'm gonna change this font to white you're not gonna be able to see it here for a minute but I want to change the background just so that you can um, see this a little bit better so the way you change the background is you click anywhere on the background you'll click on format background and then come over here to color and change it to whatever color you want i uh, want to get the contrast a little bit better and i think that um, anything like rose gold or any metallics look a lot better on darker backgrounds so and plus it'll look uh, so much better on camera and it'll come up a lot a lot better for you so what we're going to do is we're going to work with this one first. I'm going to highlight um, this and then we're going to go here to format and we're going to go to text fill and we're going to fill it with a gradient. But instead of choosing one of these, we're going to go to more gradient, gradient fill, and then we're going to choose the colors that we want here. We've got an angle of 90 degrees and I just want a straight linear pattern i don't want to mess with the presets and then we will choose the colors that we want to use so i'm gonna click on this first stopper right here we're going to be using five stoppers uh, for this effect with only two colors so let's go ahead and choose the first one we're going to use the eyedropper tool and we're just going to grab a color from there and then we'll grab this uh, second color eyedropper tool grab another color from there Uh, again, eyedropper tool. I'm going to grab this one. And if you look down here at the bottom, uh, you'll see that it's saved those two colors. So I'm just going to grab that one again and put it there. And then I'm going to click here in the middle. And I'm going to add that same color again. So we've got two colors here, uh, but we've got five stops. And I'm going to move this and play with it a little bit. And um, this is what we come up with. So it kind of gives the text this shimmery effect. So you, you know that this is pink 
uh, but you do have the highlights and the shadows and it, they um, play off the light really well and it looks really beautiful. So we're going to do the same thing here with the uh, bottom one. We will go to format, fill text, gradient, more gradients, gradient fill, and it's kept what we already had, but we're actually only going to do three stops on this. So I'm going to delete that and we'll delete that one. And we'll go ahead and keep the same colors you can you can play with all of this uh, but i just kind of want to give you an idea of how um, this all works so we've got these shadow we've got a shadow color we've got a highlight color and then everywhere in between is going to be the actual color so what i would like to do is um, bring this more toward the top and I'm going to play with it a little. It's really hard for you to see it on uh, camera. But uh, what I'm doing here is I'm moving this light color. I don't know if you can see that. But as I move it, you'll see the, um, the position of the highlight changes. So right here, it's toward the bottom. And then as I move it here, it goes more toward the top. So I, I want to keep it toward the top. Um, so I'm going to leave it up here. Okay. And that's um, a little bit of a variation on this one. You can see where this one looks more shimmery. This one has that nice smooth transition from the shadow into the highlight. So those are two ways to use uh, gradients to create a rose gold effect in PowerPoint. I'm going to show you how to do this in Word as well. It is a little bit different in Word so I did I did want to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and then uh, so instead of having that format option up here you'll actually come here to um, where you choose the color of your font and then I've already picked out some colors here so they're showing recent colors. Um, but you'll choose gradient, more gradient, and then we're going to do gradient fill. So it's, it's pretty much the same thing, except that, um, this gradient is in a different location than it is in PowerPoint. So I have already chosen some colors and you can kind of, um, get an idea of what that looks like here. Uh, it's it's a little bit harder to see on a white background again on a darker background you're going to get something a little bit more dramatic it's going to look a little bit more realistic on in my opinion anyway <laughs> um on a darker background but i just love the look of the dark of the dark colors so there's that and, and again you can play with how this looks um where the highlight sits on your lettering um, you can add more stops in there, um, add more color variation, and get really intricate with this to create these really beautiful rose gold font effects. And also, if you'd like to pick up this swatch panel with all of these different colors and the hex codes here, you can go to the blog post for this video. You'll find it at prettywebs slash rose gold font effects. And you can download this. My videos are geared toward people that do not have the time to deal with Photoshop. But if you um, have a copy of Photoshop and you know how to use it, I created um, these gradients. They are a gradient file met for Photoshop. So you'd have to actually upload this to Photoshop in order to be able to use them. But um, if you have Photoshop, this is gonna be so much simpler because you can just put your words in and then click on each one of these to see which one looks best for your font. So if you're interested in that, you can um, also download that on the same blog post uh, that you can get this uh, swatch panel at. If you like these ideas and you're looking for more tips and tricks for online business graphics, make sure to go to prettywebs.com and click on the read the blog button on the homepage and you can find tons of resources, roundup tutorials and inspiration all dedicated to the visual aspects of your online presence. We also cover planning your visuals on social media, your blog and in your online shop. Thanks for watching.